Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I'd like to start off by thanking all 1,635 subscribers around the world. And if you believe in transferring knowledge to those who need it most, please click subscribe. I promise not to transmit your information to any third party. Okay, so today uh, we have a requirement from our problem manager, James Dean, the rebel without a root cause, to change the configuration items install or operational status i think is what we're going to go with um, we want to change it from operational <clears throat> to um, i believe it was in maintenance or something of that nature um, we'll get to that in a second when the state changes to pending change so basically when we open up a problem record um, and the state is pending change the configuration item will change um, its operational status and I believe it's uh, in maintenance is what um, it'll change to so we have to set up a business rule to do this and then also what we're going to do um, for our problem manager we are going to also when it changes back to close slash resolved um, it's going to go back to the same operational status of uh, operational so let's take a look at our business rules um, that we set up here. So remember, in order to get to the configuration for uh, any table, it'll just be the name of the table dot config, which is what we're in right now. And we'll see here we have two business rules that we created. So one is our problem pending change um, CI update, and then we have the other one for close resolved. Um, you can name however you want. This is just the way I name it. It's kind of easy for me to keep track. And I just draw this little arrow as to what's being. Um, affected so let's take a look at our first one uh, this is the pending change CI update so we're running it um, is active and also we have an advanced script in here which I'll show you in a second uh, it's going to be before insert or update and uh, we have our filter conditions that state it changes to pending change and then what's going to happen here is um, let's take a look at our, our script here so basically <clears throat> what we have here is this is our table name of what we want to hit or what we want changed and then since this is a reference field on our form we have name here and then we're going to say current table name and then name which is name of the the field and then <clears throat> uh or excuse me the name of the, the field for the uh the, the table there so for the reference and then uh, we'll see here gr.operational underscore status so the name of our field that we want to alter is operational status and we want to give it a value of three because operational status is an integer so I really want to hit that value and I'll show you what that looks like in a second and then also I put in um, just to test it out to see if I could do two um, at once also the install status if I want to change it to three I could do that too I commented it out um, so maybe I can show you that later um, so then we'll take a look at the second one here and uh, here we're going to see when it changes to close resolved, then um, pretty much same construction, and then we're going to change this back to the status of one, which is what I believe we just saw, which was operational. So let's take a look at the item that we're going to use. I use 3D Pinball. It's one of my favorites, uh, but we'll see right here operational status. Currently it's operational. Our install status is installed, and then we can take a look at <clears throat> our item here. Um, we'll take a look later on and see how it changes. So we'll see here we have our different um, st statuses over here for operational and then the other ones here for just the regular status. Um, again, you know, this is all up to how your organization uses these two. I'm not sure if you use both of these or maybe just one, but it's all up to the organization on how they use them. So make sure you check with your, you know, PM or your lead developer on how you guys use these things. So let's take a look at operational status, and I thought this was kind of interesting because <clears throat> it's telling me it's a descendant, so I have to you see everything here is grayed out. So usually you'd come down here to choices to come and, and, and see what the values are, but um, it's telling me to click here. When you click there, it's going to fly out <clears throat> into this uh, window right here, and we'll see here it's an integer, and then we'll see go to the three value, and then we'll see here three is repair in progress. So it's going to change to 
repair in progress uh, when we open that record up. So when we go back to this problem record and I hit save, um, this 3D pinball will change um, to that repair in progress. And we'll see right now it's operational. Um, before we do that, just want to mention that Third Republic, our sponsor, um, is looking for a couple of roles, and I'm not sure if you're looking for a job, but just want to mention that um, there is a ServiceNow consultant for GRC and SecOps in Europe. It's uh, 6 to 12 months in the race negotiable. You can contact Brad Potter for that, which I just displayed his LinkedIn profile, so feel free to reach out to him. And then also, uh, they have another role here for a ServiceNow HR consultant in London, and that's uh, another 6 to 12 months. And again, you can talk to Brad about it. Um, he's a really, really great guy and um, loves to get back to people, really energetic. And uh, Third Republic, by the way, in case you're um, looking for a company for your staffing needs, um, these guys are your best-in-class solution. Um, also, they're going to be having a ServiceNow meetup in the beginning of January. And um, I thought it was really cool. I kind of got a virtual tour of Third Republic, and they have a pool table in there and all sorts of stuff. It kind of feels like, um, you know, your traditional or not traditional, but your non-traditional startup. Um, so I thought it was really cool to see that. <clears throat> so let's go back to our problem, shall we? So now we're going to hit save. Let's see our status pending change. Here's 3D pinball. We'll open up our fly out here to preview the record and then we'll see here repair in progress now we can go to our item and we'll see here change to repair in progress and then I think here we'll probably have to reload this form there we go repair in progress now let's let's try and change that business rule and see if we can do that two and once like I said that um, we were able to or I was able to do before let's change that install status and let's see if that works. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change it back to open because remember our condition is to change to and not is. So there's going to be that difference there. So let's change it back to open. And now let's go back to, and you know, we can even take a look at the, and we'll see here, still repair in progress. <clears throat> so now what we'll want to do is change it, pending change. And now let's open it up and see if it wants to open. Come on now, you can do it. We'll see here. Okay, so our status changed to in maintenance and repair in progress. And again, if we were to go to our table, we'll see here it's changed. Now, um, the other business rule that we had was what? When it changes to close, our operational status will equal one. So we'll go ahead and change it to close now. And again, you know, it would be up to your organization if you want to use is close resolved or changes to. It all depends on if you have a workflow running with a problem. I know uh, a lot of organizations do. So I'll leave that up to you on how you construct that operator in that uh, business rule. So now I'm going to click save. Now remember, we only have it running on the one um, on operational status. So not on install status. Now we can take a look here. And we'll see here our operational status changed back to operational. So if you wanted to modify that second business rule, you would just add another line to say gr dot install underscore um, install underscore status equals one, and then with the colon, just kind of like this other construction that we had here. So my name's Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow.